Hi everyone, like me, I'm sure all of you are quite excited about the trailers we saw last night. Uh, I mean, for those of us who have been here in Saudi Arabia, we had to wait till like 6 a.m. in the morning uh, just to watch the latest trailer. Uh, now, in that respect, there's a lot has been uh, is going to be rolled out by Disney uh, slash Marvel Studios. But the one that I would like everyone to pay attention to would be Secret Invasion series. It's not a movie and I'm really glad that they are doing that. The reason being is that an average Marvel episode is usually around 45 minutes to one hour. Now imagine if Secret Invasion is going to continue for only one season. So multiply that 45, ti uh, 45 minutes times 10. You get the answer. Now, previously I had complaints from Marvel Cinematic Universe that uh, they didn't do justice with some of the storylines. Uh, a lot of people might disagree with me, but like for example, Civil War and the other one being The Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, I love the movie, it's really good. Civil War, I didn't like it at all. But uh, the criticism about both of the movies was that these stories they cannot be encapsulated within an 180 minutes limitation. Uh, and in the case of uh, The Winter Soldier, we all remember that it was roughly around like slightly more than 120 minutes, maybe 140 minutes, correct me if I'm wrong. Now, Secret Invasion is an epic. It involved the entire Marvel Universe. And since we will be seeing Fantastic Four, uh, we will see each and every character get affected. It was one of the most moving stories I've ever read. Uh, I mean, if you want to read it in its full, the entire arc, or let's just call it in the in my version of the omnibus, then you need to start from Kree Skrull War, which was by Roy Thomas, Neil Adams, and John Buscema, and then you have to connect it with Avengers Disassembled and then go all the way till Siege. Most important one within them was the Secret Invasion Saga. And uh, I just really hope that the way I have the expectation they fall through or they should come up with something even better that, that's beyond my expectation. Now at least the cinematic universe has a life of its own they just need to take the fundamental characters uh, from the comic books and now they have perfectly placed themselves in a way that they can develop their own storylines. Shang-Chi is something to be really excited about. So is uh, Falcon and the Winter, Winter Soldier. For those of you who don't know the background to it, uh, please be reminded that in the 70s, uh, Captain America and the Falcon was one of the most popular uh, Marvel Comics uh, titles at the time. Uh, it introduced a lot of the characters of the Serpent Society, some of whom we saw in the Luke Cage TV series, uh, then Netflix series, and then um, uh, similarly we have She-Hulk. The good thing is that we're gonna see Mark Ruffalo, we're gonna see Tim Roth. Uh, I mean, each and every one it's going to be interconnected. It's not just cinematic universe going in one direction and the streaming universe going in another direction. It's all interconnected and which makes it, which makes me even more optimistic about the Secret Invasion series. Make sure that you do read about it. I will post the links for the, uh, for the trade paperbacks in, my, in the caption below. And if you have any questions about these, shoot me a message. If you like this video, share it, like it, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Thank you.